Yo yo people, Gear Tune here for another video. So today we are gonna be playing Farming Story 19 and we will be going camping. Now, I wanted to change it up a bit though. Uh, we are not using modern vehicles. These are not modern by any standard actually. Here is a 1958 Chevrolet Apache. Look at this beautiful truck. Like, absolutely amazing. Uh, this was made by OK Used Mods. And same thing goes for the trailer, which we'll check out here in a second. But yeah, I just want to give you the runaround. Uh, here's how the interior looks. We have a giant steering wheel. You have your buttons and switches and I don't even know. You have a key that you actually have to turn. If you guys know what that is <laughs> uh but yeah guys very cool bench seating and our giant shifters obviously there as well so yeah guys if we go ahead and click n we have these side kind of bumpers you might want to call them i really don't know what the technical term is google says they're called sidewalls i don't know if that's right let me know down below but they're very very cool so if we throw any wood in here and we're worried about it rolling around or like falling out then we can just throw those up and now we have the retro camper trailer now this thing is an absolute beauty uh, it's very very simple inside you see we have our i believe propane there and then uh yeah the interior nothing too crazy about it it's a very old style so you have lots of seating and i believe that's a sink and maybe a stove top it's kind of hard to tell if that's a stove top or not but i i, I believe it is just like a mini one uh but yeah anyways let's go ahead we can hop on in the truck. All right, guys, let's move this thing back to the trailer hitch. Here we go. Gotta go nice and slow because this thing does not turn on a dime. It, it, it has very slow steering. There we go. Nicely done. And we are ready to get moving. We actually have a very challenging path ahead of us. Um, this map, we've done a mudding series on because the train is just absolutely insane so we're going to be turning left over here uh there it is and you already see there are so many things blocking our path there's all these twigs and you know what here let me quickly jump out so i can just show you you have all these like branches twigs you have water mud is that moving yes it is like guys i don't know how we're gonna be trekking through here but let's let's have some faith in her before we just call it quits. Now this is going to be a very bumpy ride too because obviously old Chevys don't have the best suspension. I'm not saying modern ones don't, but old ones is no denying and that goes with any vehicle honestly. The technology advances are definitely seen there. Okay, so we are getting through here. I was a bit worried about the trailer getting stuck, but it seems like that isn't something that we're going to have to be too concerned about. Ah, uh, here, let's turn on our headlights. And then we can go first person. Here we go. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a bumpy ride. And guys, our small little circular mirrors, I didn't even mention that. They work, but they barely do because they're so tiny. I don't know why that was ever a style. Okay, you know what? I'm getting a little bit sick going in first person. So let's actually switch back to the third person view. We can track through here. Now, we don't have to go too far before we actually head off the path. All right, guys, we are actually completely stuck here. I'm going to have to push this thing. So here, let me quickly put in neutral. There we go. And when I'm trying to push this through here, here's a quick message from our sponsor. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. All right, guys. I got unstuck. We are moving now. Here we go. I think speed is going to be our best friend. Because, yeah, th this path is not kind to our vehicle by any, by any means. I'm getting past the more difficult part. And now it's time to actually head off the path. So we're going to be going to the left over there. Uh, I don't know... What the best route's going to be. I think we need to drive a bit further forward. And then... Okay, let's try going up here. I don't know how deep the water is. You know what? Let's quickly check this out. Uh, okay, you know, we, we, we should be good to go through here. Alright, there we go. Knock down some bushes. 
yeah, this is the general direction we're trying to head. Uh, there will be some trees blocking our path, I believe, so it's going to be a bit of maneuvers going on here. We are finally on the path or the road to success. <laughs> we got to head right after this, and then we'll just go until there is a lake. It's just a little small lake, nothing too crazy, or I guess maybe it's more of a pond. Uh, also, you guys know we don't have a secondary vehicle with us, so we got to make sure that the Chevy stays in one piece. If we pop a tire, we are going to have some major, major issues on our hand. And let's keep going through here. Be very careful. We need to remember where each tree is because the trailer is following behind. And we're, we're definitely going to be getting some scratches and knocking off some tree branches, but th there's no way to get through here without doing that. Yep, there's the lake. We actually did it. Okay, I am honestly impressed. I was not expecting to do this so smoothly. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, um, I do want to get a tent down, so maybe moving the trailer over a bit would be a better move. Yeah, if we go like right here, and then we should be good to detach. Okay, let me throw down the supports so it won't slide or anything. All right, I got the wedges behind the tires. We are all good. All right, guys, so I think before we get wood, the best option is going to be to set up the actual campsite. Let's go ahead and grab our tent. Have the tent ready to go. Um, I was going to put it here. Now, it doesn't let us place it down, so we are going to have to move it a little further back. I think this is going to be the best spot. So let's place it down. All right, guys, we got it all set up. Uh, now, we still have to get some lumber because we don't really have enough wood to burn through at the night. And then, what else do we got? We have some cans. Again, lots of this is empty though. Very, very cool. A little light for when it gets dark. We even have a flashlight if needed. Our cot, and a little bag. Now, it looks like a US Army bag though, but it's all good. We can head on back to our vehicle because we need to get the lumber. And again, this is the only vehicle we have, so it's going to have to do. Hopefully, we won't have to travel too far to find a good tree. Uh, that one looks a little bit dead, but it is quite large. I want to see if we can find something a bit smaller. All right, driving through here. It's a lot better not having the trailer because we don't have to worry as much. Would one of these trees work? Mm, no, see, like this tree is pretty dead, but it is quite tall. All right, you know what? I think this will work. It is a bit tall, but it is more than dead. So let's park a vehicle. I'm going to place it behind this tree just in case if it does fall the wrong direction. This might protect us. Yeah, we're, let's just hope we cut this down correctly. Okay, get out the chainsaw. All right, let's get cutting. Go as low as we can. It should be good. There we are. Ready, guys? Timber! There we go. It fell the exact way I want it to, away from our vehicle. That was awesome to see. And we can trim this all down. Okay, guys, I quickly am just pausing. I went on our Discord server, links found down below, and I said, first of the people to say Apple will get a shout out in a video. So, Tom Bomb, Frosty Penguin, and Presley Jeremiah Smith YT, there are your shout outs. Again, Discord's down below. I'll do more of these in the future. So, definitely feel free to join. All right, the wood is ready to cut to smaller pieces. Uh, let me bring the truck a little closer. Okay, I'm gonna park it right around here. I don't wanna be too close, just in case when we're cutting, there's some little pieces that shoot on off. I don't want it to scratch our paint. Okay guys, I'm sorry for cutting in again, but am I seriously worried about the paint chipping? Do you not remember what we did earlier? Here, a little flashback. All right. There we go, knock down some bushes. But yeah, no, let's worry about the paint chipping. That's really what matters. First piece is gonna be quite heavy, so we can't cut it that big. Thinking there should be good. Here we are. All right, let me see how that sits in our vehicle. Okay, that fits in our bed quite nicely. Uh, this really does show though, we are limited on space. So we gotta keep that in mind when we are making these cuts. They're really gonna have to stack nicely beside each other. Let's cut here. It's a little bit bigger. Throw it in the bed, just like so. Come on, there we are, right beside the other. 
Now, I don't think we can fit full size there, but if we go near the end and cut off a piece, it should be able to fit. Alright, I'm hoping this will work. Let's try it. This will be good for when we're starting the fire, because it's easier to ignite. We can throw this right like so. There we are. Probably could have even gone a little thicker for the tree. You know what? Can we place one beside it? This piece is quite large. Hopefully, though, it will be able to slide on in. That's what she said. Ooh, it does hang out a little bit. All right, you know what? Let's take this one out so I can trim it down just a little. Again, don't want to scratch up the paint. That's why I'm not doing it directly in the bed. Knock down some bushes. We'll go around here. There we go. Places down perfectly. Yeah, that leaves more than enough space to close the tailgate. Eh, we're, st we're still kind of close, but it, it will close. That's all that matters. Let's grab another large piece. Okay, and this one is quite heavy. A lot heavier than the other pieces. I don't think I can hold anything bigger than that. I, I want more of the thin ones because those are a lot more useful at the start. But we are running out of our thin wood. It's quickly becoming very, very large again. Throw that. Uh, ooh, it actually doesn't fit there. Can we place it? Uh, oh, you know what? I have an idea. Awesome. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, I think this is a good time to throw down some straps just in case we mess up and stuff starts to slide around in unexpected ways. But yeah, we should probably be able to hold one more similar to size as the last one. I'll go, um, let's cut here. Pick it up. And again, this is probably the maximum we can carry. Let's rotate this to be at a similar angle and throw it beside like so. Okay, moment of truth. Can we close a delegate? Yes, we can. Wow, that's honestly probably the nicest load I've ever picked up for lumber when starting a fire. Yeah, very, very happy about that. Let's go ahead and head back to the campsite, which isn't too far. I can actually see our nice bright blue tent over there. And our camper, uh, I think, is to the left. Yeah, our camper's right over here. Uh, do we want to try bringing the truck back there? Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Why not? I, th I think there's enough space. Okay, navigating through these trees nice and slowly. We don't need to race over here. Okay, turning the wheels as much as we can. All right, let me lower down the tailgate. We can remove the straps, and I guess it's time to start adding it for the fire. Let me actually also turn off our truck and lights so we don't have the battery die or run out of fuel. Get this off of here. I'm just going to place it at the side for now. But yeah, guys, so I think it's about time to ignite the fire. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Boom. There we go. It's actually lighting quite nicely it's burning well wow okay you know what i am more than happy with the way this is starting and then yeah we'll be able to throw some food on top you see we have our little racks up there it's going to be perfect uh speaking of which have you guys ever seen a fire pit with racks like that because personally i never have but i also don't have that much experience camping so that could be why uh, yeah, that's it for this video here today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Feel free to check the description to find links for our Discord server, which now has over 2,400 members. You can also find the link to become a channel member, to join our Patreon page, to follow us on Twitter, Instagram. There's so many things down there. Definitely check it out. And yeah, let's do the normal outro now. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.